Hello, my name is John Verlinden. Welcome to my home here in Brookline, Massachusetts. Today I'd like to talk with you about uh, plantains. Plantains are a staple in uh, many parts of the world. Uh, they're grown in over 120 countries worldwide. And uh, about 500 different varieties of plantains and bananas in the world. Um, plantains are wonderful because they, to me, they're like a, a, both a vegetable and a fruit because of the many different uses that they have. Uh, when they're green, they're like a potato, it's like a starchy vegetable. Uh, and they're wonderful for plantain chips, or for making tostones, or a delicious plantain soup. Uh, plantain, when it's green, should be very hard to the touch. As plantains ripen, before they become fully ripe, they grow through a stage called pintone. And pintone, uh, they're uh, yellow, uh, but the ends may be a little bit green, and they're, they're firm, they, it yields to the touch, but they're still firm. As the plantain continues to ripen, uh, they become a, a sweet plantain, and now they're, uh, as you can see, their ends are brown, the skin is, is, is brown, yellow to brown, and they are soft to the touch. Now, when a, when a banana turns black, you're probably ready to throw it out. But don't throw out a plantain, because a plantain has now reached uh, the, the point in its lifetime when it's ready to be turned into a delicious dessert. Uh, it can be wonderf used wonderfully in a, uh, a bread pudding or as a, as a topping for ice cream. Uh, delic delicious. Plantains are also wonderfully uh, rich in uh, uh, nutrients. They're uh, uh, very low in sodium, they're high in potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin C. And there's only 125 calories in a cup of cooked plantains. So they're a very healthy, uh, rich, rich food that it's great for us Americans to incorporate more in our diets as we learn more about the plantain. And you'll discover, as you get used to the plantain, you'll discover uses of it for your, uh, your, on your own uh, that you will uh, enjoy. Uh, the plantain uh, grows uh, uh, throughout the tro tropics in the world, and uh, it's a, uh, a contrary to a popular belief, it's not a tree. Even though we refer to them as, as plantain trees or banana trees, they're actually an a, uh, evergreen herb. And they're a, they're a uh, uh, perennial. Uh, because what happens when the mother plant uh, grows up and produces that, that big bunch of uh, bananas or plantains that we're accustomed to seeing, uh, after that's harvested, the mother plant dies. But it, along with the mother plant, several suckers grow on the outside of the plant. Uh, and what happens then when the mother plant it dies, she's cut away, and the largest and healthiest of the suckers is selected, and all the other suckers are removed. It grows up then becomes the new mother plant and produces the next, uh, the next crop. So I hope that you'll give plantains a try uh, the next time you go to the store. Pick up a few and take them home. And don't worry, they never go bad.